Hi there, hope you're all doing well. This month is the start of the Human Defense Force from One Page Rules, which also marks the start of my third guard army now. This time around, I'm going for a more grassland themed color scheme. To start out this color scheme, I printed out one of the company leaders so that I could aim for the best the units will look without worrying too much about the speed on this one. To get started, I used British khaki for all of the BDU under the armor plating. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You could also join Discord using the link in the description where you can share anything you have been working on. Getting a highlight on now, I used cork brown. I went over all of the raised and flat areas, just leaving that darker tone in the recesses. For the leather parts, I went with burnt umber as the base color. The first highlight on the leather parts now gets done with the ancient forest. To push the leather a little bit further, I use sandstone to go around the edges and just scuff up a few random parts. Now I get started on the armor panels where they once over of Wyvern Green.
the mid-tone for the panels gets done with emerald green. This goes over the bulk of the panels, just leaving that darker tone in the shadow parts and the recesses between the panels. For the top highlight, I didn't want to do an edge highlight as I want to try out some chipping on these panels. Instead, I used ethereal green and just brought up the tops of the panels where the light will be hitting the most. There isn't much exposed skin on this guy, it's only his face and that gives a base coat of a barbarian brawn. Pushing some of these sharper features on his face up, I went over them with elven skin. The beret and the scarf now get a once over with dark flesh tone as I want these to be red and this is a good shadow color for that. Getting the mid-tone down on the red now, I went around with Scarlet Red, leaving that darker colour in the recesses of the folds. Finishing off the red now, I grabbed Hellspawn Red and brought up most of the edges and uppermost parts. Now for the long part getting all of the weapon casings and metal parts base coated with black except for the sword blade as I want this to be light.
Woody Sword Blade. I want it to be blue. To get started with that, I basically did the entire thing with Cursed Blue. To push the highlight on the sword, I added a few coats of Raygun Glow, focusing mainly around the edges just to give it a bit of a glow effect. Moving on to the metal parts, I went around all of the iconography with Dragon's Gold. For the remaining metal parts, I used Surcoat Silver. The pistol casing stayed black, but went over some of the edges just to make it look a little bit worn down. Now for the chipping and a highlight with Mithril Blade. For all of the chipping, I just dotted around the edges and the armor where it would be getting dinged up the most over the few months of use. Getting a wash onto the skin and the BDU now, I used Archaic Sepia Wash. You can do this onto the red as well, but I like how it came out and didn't want to change it with a wash. The armor panels now get a quick wash with military shader. Once the washes are dry, I came back in with some thinned down cork brown to push the few highlights back up to their brightness. The armor was a little bit dark for my liking now, so I grabbed ethereal green and added in another highlight just to push a few parts back up. And that would be it for the company leader. I like this scheme, even though it was a lot of steps to get through here, I'm pretty sure I can cut a few down for the regular infantry. 
Otherwise, it will just take way too long to get an entire army painted up. For the base, I just added some muddy ground and grass tufts. To make it look a little bit more blended in, I thinned down the muddy ground and spread it across the bottom half of his legs. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can also join Discord using the link in the description where you can share anything you have been working on. As always, if you want a closer look at this mini, check out my Instagram page. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Most importantly though, be kind to each other.